Hi, I'm Lynn Jordan from Caliper Life Sciences. I'm here today to talk about Caliper's Rapid Trace SPE workstation. What I'd like to do is give you an overview of the product, and then I'll set it up to do a run. I'll set up a quick method in the software, and I'll start the product running for you. The Rapid Trace workstation is designed for solid phase extractions from biological samples. Your samples will come into the system in a test tube. They could either be in a 13 by 100 test tube, or if you have a larger sample, it could be in a 16 by 100 test tube. For the solid phase extraction, we work with the syringe barrel format of the SPE columns. This is a 3 mil format. We also can work with the 1 mil formats as well. To set up the instrument for a run, this instrument itself each of these modules can take up to 10 samples, assuming they're each collecting one fraction. However, you can put 10 of these modules together, so an entire workstation could contain up to 10 rapid trace modules, meaning you could have a total of 100 samples. One of the nice things about the system is each of these samples could be running the same method, or they could be running a different method. Up here in these turf positions, I have samples in positions 1 through 5, so I want my SPE columns in positions 1 through 5. And then in addition, I've got to make sure I have reagents on the system. I've already put some of my solvents on the system. I have one more I have to put on the system. So I'll put the reagent line in the bottle. And then typically we'll use something like parafilm or something such as that to cover it keep the reagent clean. Okay. At this point, I'm ready to start the method. The system is going to start by scanning the rack. This way we know that the rack is in correctly. We've also told it we want to run five samples, so it's going to check for the five sample tubes and the corresponding fraction tubes. Now we're turning the turret and putting the column plunger down into the SPE column. The SPE column is being loaded into one of the waste reservoirs, so as we do our conditioning step with methanol, the methanol will go out the organic waste as we specify. Right now we're going to go into the software and we're going to start a method running. And on the screen you'll see there's two different icons. One is called SPE and one is called SPE Run. These two icons are for different executables, and the reason it's divided this way, SPE allows a user the ability to create, edit, or run a method. The executable entitled SPE Run only allows you to run existing methods. The idea is if you have an instrument in a production area where you want people not to be able to edit methods, if you only have the executable SPE Run present, they then can only pull up and run methods that already exist, but not make any creations, any create, change, or delete any existing methods. I'm going to quickly go into SPE because I want you to see what methods look like. When you go into the SPE software, this is what the main screen looks like, and you'll see a couple of buttons to your left. Reagent setup, create procedures, set up racks, and then dealing with running, you have run monitor, reports, and error recovery. In reagent setup, what we're doing is we're essentially telling the system in the eight reagent lines what is the name of the reagent we have present. When you're writing a method, it's a lot easier to remember to, to know that reagent one contains water because that's what it's named rather than rem remember that reagent one is water. So in this case, we've named the reagents we also have our waste at the bottom, and the rapid trace has three separate waste ports, and the reason this was done is it allows you to segregate the waste. If you're working with a biological sample such as plasma, you want to make sure that that waste is not mixed with your organic waste, so precipitation could occur of the proteins in the plasma. So typically you'll have a, an aqueous biological waste, and then you'll segregate your organic waste out as well. But you can segregate your waste as it works for your sample types as well as your facility and how you dispose of your waste. I'm going to close this screen now, and I'm going to go into Create Procedures. In Create Procedures, typically, to make a method, 
I would basically ask it to do different steps. And an idea of the steps are things such as condition the column, load the sample onto the column, rinse the column, or collect a fraction. There's also options for purge and clean cannulas, which allows you to wash the syringe of the system. And one of the other nice features is the rapid trace gives you some nice functionality for methods development. We have the ability to add different reagents into a mixing vessel and then use those. If you're doing methods development, you may know that you need a rinse solution that contains a certain percentage of methanol and water. But this would allow you to try various combinations without having to make those combinations on the lab bench first and then put them in each of the different reagent lines. Now I'm going to open up the method here. I'm going to run and I'm going to say file open. And this method is just named Lynn. And this method just has a couple quick steps of condition, load, rinse, dry the column with gas, collect, and then purge and clean the cannula. I'm going to save this method. And now what we're going to do is go to set up racks. In setting up racks, what we have here is on my current system, I only have one rapid trace module. And this is representative of that module. I'm going to start by deleting all the samples that are associated with it. And if I want to run the LIN method, I could tell it I want to run LIN for the first five samples. If I chose, I could then take another method and I could run it for additional samples. Some of the real power in using this system and in methods development is if you have multiple modules installed, I could select selectively be running different methods for different modules and different samples. Or I could simply be running the same method on all 100 samples if I had 10 modules. So right now I've set up my module to run the method lin.spe for samples 1 through 5 and I'm going to say OK and save. Now I'm going to go to what's called run monitor. And what's going to happen is the system is going to go out and scan. And what it's found is I only have one module installed, module zero, and it knows that it's set up to run the method LIN for samples one through five. To get this started, I'm going to click the run button. And that's going to start this method running. As the method runs, this screen will have a dialogue telling me what stamp steps are happening, what samples are running in the approximate run time, so I know when my samples will be finished. As we start the run, once the shuttle has scanned the rack, you'll see the turret turn to position to the first SPE column, which is column number one. The column plunger goes down inside the column and then is going to push the column into the waste station, into the location that we've specified as organic waste. The system is now aspirating the methanol that's going to be used for the conditioning step, and then it will push the methanol through the SPE column at the specified flow rate through the column and out to the organic portion of the waste station. The system's now continuing on with loading the sample through the SPE column. And to do this, the cannula goes down into the sample tube and aspirates the sample into the syringe. And then it passes through the SPE column. And unless we've specified we'd like to collect a fraction, it will go through to the aqueous waste portion of the waste reservoir. At the completion of the run, the column plunger will come out of the SPE column and the rack will come out of the unit and be presented to us. At this point, the fraction will be in the fraction test tube. Thank you for your time for watching this video on the Rapid Trace SPE workstation. I hope you found it informative how Caliper does solid phase extraction of larger volume biological samples. Thank you.